God bless you. We thank God for you. God bless your heart. We are truly excited. Good morning and welcome to the True Life International Fellowship. Again, Ministries, Sunday morning edition. For we are not ashamed of the gospel this morning. We are not ashamed for it is the power of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. We bless God for you on this morning. Come on, let's worship the Lord. If you don't mind, will you share and tag the broadcast this morning? We thank God for being here on another day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to you, Lord. To everyone. Hallelujah. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And God bless you this morning. Good morning. Will you share the broadcast? Tag and share this morning. Tag and share this morning. God bless your heart. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome and come on in the room this morning. God bless your heart. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. God's word is a life unto my path. Thank you, Jesus. His word. Ah, come on, share the broadcast if you don't mind. Share the broadcast. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, it's guaranteed today. It's guaranteed. The word of God is guaranteed this morning. It comes to set you free. Lord, I thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God's word. Thank you, Jesus, for your word today. It's healing. It's powerful. It's magnificent. It is the word of God today. I want you to know that today the word of God is powerful to it to it is worn on today. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for coming. Let's get those numbers up today. In Jesus' name, glory to God. Hallelujah. As you welcome us back, we thank God for you praying for us. And Lord God, we thank God for you being with us. For we're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Good morning. Welcome. We are not ashamed. We are not ashamed of the gospel. Woo God. Thank you, Jesus, for it is the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the gospel, Lord of God, that set the captives free. Yeah. We have. Come on, I tell you to share the broadcast this morning. Come on, if you will, let us tag and share. Tag and share. Come on. In the name of Jesus. For we are not ashamed. Oh God, we are not ashamed. Yeah, we are not ashamed. Oh God, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, we have, we have. Everlasting, everlasting life. Come on, I tell you to worship the Lord with us on this morning. Dear yeah, God, we are not ashamed. We are not ashamed. We are not ashamed. Hey, yeah, God, bless your heart today of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, we have everlasting, everlasting, everlasting life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We've got to shame. Thank 
you, Lord. We are not ashamed. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Glory to the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus Christ. Oh, we have. Come on, I tell you to share the broadcast today. Come on, share the broadcast in Jesus' name. But we're not ashamed. Let us know that you're home today. Come on, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We'll bless your name, God. We bless the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you this morning. We thank God for you being on with us on this morning. Yes, we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why? Because it is power. Glory to God. And we thank God for the power of God. Listen, I thank God. Hallelujah. We thank God for being back with you. Amen. In Jesus name, we thank God for the anointing of God that makes the difference. Amen. Glory to God. We are not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. For it is power. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to ask that you would share the broadcast on this morning. Amen. We thank God for those that are on already with us. We thank God for those, glory to God, that are sharing the broadcast, that are tagging. Now, I want you, if you don't mind, if you will, please to tag. Amen. Some people and let them know that we are on on this morning. Again, welcome to the True Life International Fellowship. Glory to God. Ministries, ministry. Amen. Sunday morning edition. Listen, I am super excited to be back with you on today. Glory to God. I am truly excited. Amen. About what God is doing. Thank you. Amen. And welcome again to, amen, this Sunday morning edition. There is a word from the Lord. We are not ashamed. Listen, there comes a time in this walk with God that we cannot be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus. Amen. For it is the power of God. Amen. Glory to God. It is glory to God, the power of God that is being demonstrated in our lives, not just on Sunday morning, but every day of our life. Listen, we thank God again for you, you and you. Now I'm going to ask those that are on the broadcast, let us know that you on. Please don't just lurk, amen, and watch, amen, but participate. One of the things that I believe, glory to God, that we should not be a slider, amen, but we should participate. Let it be known that you are receiving the word of the Lord on today, amen. And so I'm going to ask if you will, amen, let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We bless you. We honor you on today. Lord God, we thank you for this word that's going to be preached, Lord God. But we pray most of all for demonstration and power. Lord, we pray, God, that your spirit, God, will have its way in our lives. Lord, we thank you, God, for supernatural increase. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man which you have in store for your people. Father, we bless you and we give you praise. We come against everything, Lord God, that would try to come against us. Lord God, we thank you right now and we plead the blood of Jesus right now. Lord God, we're excited to be back, Lord, in the saddle on today. Thank you for those that have genuinely been praying, those that are genuinely, Lord God, that have been touching and agreeing with us, those that are genuinely, Lord God, that are believing God, amen, for Lord God healing. And I thank God for the healing power of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I bless you and I give you praise and I lift you up. In Jesus' name, amen. And all of God's people said, amen. Well, listen, I'm again excited to be back with you on this morning. Good morning, Pastor McClammy. Good morning for all those that are viewing, amen, in Jesus' name. As I said earlier, I am back, I, I am back in Jesus' name, and I'm grateful to be back in Jesus' name. Glory to God to share this word of God with you. Good morning, uh, nephew, son. We bless God for you. Amen. And we're praying for you in Jesus name. Listen, I believe this is most critical time in our life. Glory to God. There has become some dark days. Glory to God. 
but we must understand that our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. Good morning to you, Overseer Ray. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. God bless each and every one of you. But I'm believing God. Hallelujah. He said, eyes have not seen. I'm telling you, I'm back this morning. Ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has in store for his people. Yes. And so I want you to be encouraged on this morning, glory to God, that we are not ashamed of the gospel. Glory to God, we thank God that it is the standard Glory to God. And the standard is Christ. Come on, somebody. Amen. I thank God for the standard on this morning. I thank God for his power and of the resurrection. I thank God for what God is doing. Glory to God. That's right, daughter. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. Glory to God. I thank God for God. Glory to God doing what he said he's going to do. From the book of Romans, if you don't mind, let us go there, if you will. Romans 1 and 16. Glory to God. And the Amplified Version says, glory to God, in the 16th verse, it says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Glory to God, for it is the power of God for salvation. Glory to God from his wrath and punishment. Glory to God to everyone who believes in Christ as Savior. Glory to God to the Jews first and also to the Greeks. For the Bible says, glory to God, as we look at uh, glory to God, hallelujah, the word it says, for in the gospel, the righteousness of God is being revealed. God is revealing himself to his people like never before. Well, glory to God. And so what I want to say to you on this morning, glory to God, the Bible say, as it is written, glory to God, and forever remain written. Come on, somebody. I want you to get that in your spirit and forever remain written. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. The just glory to God and the upright shall live by faith. And so on this morning, if you hear something, glory to God, that has intrigued your spirit, that has, glory to God, captivated your mind. I pray that you will comment and that you will interact with us. Glory to God. One of the things the Lord has dealt with me with is that we must, glory to God, interact with the word of God. Let our yea be yea and our nay be nay. As I said before, glory to God, don't just lurk, glory to God, but come on, I dare you to touch and agree by the word of God. I dare you to agree on the word of God on this morning. No matter how you slice it, dice it, no matter how you fix it up, glory to God, we cannot get away from faith. Even coming out of our faith over foolishness conference, we shall stand, we shall stand in faith. We shall live in faith. We shall touch, glory to God, hallelujah, the spiritual things in this life through the eyes of faith. We must stand on the word of God by faith, glory to God. So I encourage you to take some notes on this morning and write down these kingdom nuggets, go back and play the replay in order to get this timing word in your spirit. Get your pens and get your paper, glory to God. Get your phones and your tablet and let's go. For Paul, glory to God, glory to God, here in the book of Luke, glory to God, the first chapter, I want you to see this 15th and the 17th verse. The King James Version, for those that are getting your, your paper Bible this morning, glory to God, I want you to see this. Glory to God, Paul epistle to the Roman is one of, one of the most important epistles in the New Testament. Here it is, glory to God, here in this epistle, in this letter, more clearly than ever anywhere else, that the uniquely Christian, amen, glory to God, and the biblical path of salvation by grace through faith is laid out against all works of man. Glory to God, these two verses here in verse 16 and 17 and chapter number one are the most important in this epistle because they gave the theme of the entire letter, the righteousness of God revealed to the in the gospel and receive by faith. Let me say that again, glory to God, the righteousness of God, come on, is revealed in the gospel and this is received by faith. 
Glory to God. Let me say it again. The righteousness of God is revealed in the gospel and received by faith. You cannot get, glory to God, the righteousness of God if you do not receive it as it has been revealed by the gospel, uh, glory to God, message of Jesus Christ. I want to look at three points, amen, in particular today. The gospel is the power of God for salvation. The gospel reveal a, the righteousness from God. And thirdly, the righteousness of God is through the eyes of faith. Uh, come on, somebody. I want you to put those three points down because I, before we close today, my prayer is, is that we understand this, this scripture even the more. Again, the gospel is the power of God. Uh, glory to God of salvation. Glory to God. The gospel reveals the righteousness from God and also the righteousness of God is through faith. I want you to understand that God is revealing himself even the more in this pandemic. He is revealing himself, glory to God, even the more through these trying days. He's revealing himself even the more in this, glory to God, dark days. I want you to understand today that God is revealing himself through the word of God. Yes. For Paul said it this way, for I am not ashamed. Somebody share the broadcast if you don't mind. It says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for the salvation to everyone who believe. I want you to know, glory to God, don't give up on believing God. Don't give up on Amen. receiving from God. Amen. Don't Amen. give up from allowing God to show you what he needs to show you. Don't give up from God. Come on. Don't give up. Come on. Trusting God. Don't give up. Glory to God on meaning and depending on God. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus blood and his righteousness. Listen, God is saying today, don't give up. Uh, I know it looks hard and it looks gloom and doom, but God says, glory to God, that I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Thank you, Pastor. It's good to see you this morning. I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his feet begging bread. Uh, yes, I'm back. Uh, yes, God says today that you can't give up on what he said. You can't give up on right. what he done. Uh, Come on, God said, for God so loved the world uh, that he gave his yes, only yes, begotten yes, son yes, yes. that whosoever believed yes. on him shall yes. not perish, come on, but have everlasting life. Let me take my time this morning. Uh -huh. I need you to understand that for God so loved the world uh, yes. that he gave, come on somebody. Listen, yes. when you really, come on, is walking and you allowing God's word, I feel the power of God. Come on, to have his rightful place in your life. Uh, there is a way that you shall live. There's a way, glory to God, that you shall talk. God says, glory to God, for I am not ashamed, come on, the word of God says, of the gospel uh, of Jesus Christ, because it's the power into salvation. Uh, listen, the reason that I'm saved today, the reason that you save uh, is because of Jesus. Jesus Christ Jesus. and his blood Jesus. and his sacrifice. Thank Come on, I'm grateful for the blood of Jesus. I want you to understand this morning. It says to the Jews first and also to the Greeks. It says, for in it, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. Thank the faith. reason that I'm growing and going in God is because my faith is forever growing. Come on, somebody. Somebody needs to put that in the comment section. My faith must be forever growing. Come on, I should never get stagnated. I should never allow the spirit of stagnation uh, to have its place in my life. Uh, listen, I want you to know this morning, beloved, that we are growing from faith to faith. Uh, come on, not from faith 
fate to, to fate, but from faith to faith, I know what the scientist says. And listen, we are listening to some of that, but God is saying today, it's time to listen to the word of God. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, yes. for it is the power of God uh -huh. for salvation to everyone who believe. Yes. I want you to understand for in it, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. Woo, glory to God. It must be revealed. Oh, glory to God. Something you cannot just be taught, but it has to come in revelation. Glory to God. It must be revealed. Hallelujah. It got to be revealed. Glory to God. You must know, glory to God, that revelation is important. Revelation, glory to God, bring insight. I believe reading the word is great and grand, but when you also can get revelation, Revelation, glory to God, will bring you the necessary things. Glory to God, just by reading the word may not give. Revelation is important in today's society. Listen, everything you get, amen, glory to God, is good from the Lord. But God has given us a revelatorial word. Yes. He has given us a revelatorial word. Oh. It tells us today that we want to look at three points in particular today. The gospel is the power of God. I need you to understand, glory to God, that God is revealing her. God is making known her. God is allowing her things to be made known. God is doing his what his work. Glory to God. I need you to hear this. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Here it is. The epistle in this letter is more clearly than anywhere else that the unique Christian amen, and the biblical path of salvation. Listen, salvation God has given us. God has given us. Glory to God. And I want you to understand the righteousness shall live by faith. Uh, the gospel is the power of God for salvation. First, because Paul says he's not ashamed of the gospel. We must ask ourselves the question, why might one expect Paul to be ashamed of the gospel? But Paul is not ashamed of the message. He's not ashamed of the glorious gospel of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Glory to God, even among learned people, because the message is the power of God for salvation. Paul is faced with the possibilities, well, well. even the likelihood of uh -huh. being ridiculed when he preaches the gospel. Some of us, glory to God, you may become ridiculed, you may be yes. talked about, you may be made fun of, uh -huh. but God is saying today, Though they slay me, yet I'll preach his word. There's power in the word of God. Yeah. There's deliverance in the word of God. There's breakthrough in the word of God. I want you to understand from the beginning of this message, Paul is faced with possibilities, even the likelihood of being ridiculed when he preaches the gospel, but he is not ashamed for the gospel is the power of God. See, we got to get back to the power of God. I'm going to talk about that a few minutes, uh, amen, later in the message. Paul intentionally used a type of understanding, come on, it's uh, 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 an understatement for effects by saying, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. He really means I'm proud of the gospel and he has reason to be. It is the power of God for salvation. The gospel does not only contrast the wise, but it is also gives up um, against the powerful. The Roman boasts of their glory to God power uh -huh. in conquering the world, but the gospel is superior by far. Earthly uh, uh, glory to God armies destroyed, but the gospel saves. The gospel delivers. The gospel sets 
sets us free. The gospel bring life. The gospel share the good news of Jesus Christ. The gospel gives us hope. The gospel brings us joy. The gospel leads us. The yeah. gospel guides us. The gospel bring breakthrough. Come on, come on. The gospel lead. Amen. And the gospel loves. Come on, the gospel message of Jesus Christ. It is power through salvation, pulling down every stronghold, everything, glory to God, that comes against her. But yes. the gospel saves ultimately. I'm grateful today yes, yes. that the gospel, I'm glad that I have the gospel, yes. this great gospel, yes. it shall be preached yes. all over the world. This great gospel yes. shall lead and guide me every day of my life. Oh. This great gospel yes. shall be with me forever and ever and ever the day. I want you to understand, glory to God, and this Paul, a man can say of the gospel, I'm not ashamed of it. Come on. For it can do and already has done something greater than the powerful Roman emperor could ever do. Paul writes this perhaps to say to the church at Rome who he was, who he has and glory to God wanting to visit but had been unable to do. I'm not avoiding Rome because Rome's power nor because of any weakness of the gospel Glory to God in confronting such a place. To apply this point, remember this. Do not be ashamed about the gospel of being a Christian or of everything in the Bible. You may not always know the answer. Glory to God when someone question you about your faith, but there are good answers to all objection to the Christian faith. And those good answers come from the word of God. Yes. If there is something you are questioning in your faith, ask questions, glory to God, look for biblical answers. Ask question elders, whether actual church elders are either, come on, those that you can respect to the highest. Glory to God, I want you to know the gospel message must be preached all over the world. And the Bible say, until that happen, come on somebody, it shall, come on, be preached, glory to God. It shall, glory yes, to God, yes. bring life. Yes. I want you to know, look at the biblical answer. I want you to know, ask them to help you answer the questions you have. And in this way, you will grow stronger in your faith. Listen, the power of God, not the the power of man. Listen, the power of God is what God gives each and every one. But glory to God, not just to have the power, but glory to God to demonstrate the power, the power of God. Glory to God and not just the power of man. We must know also that the gospel is the power of God, not the power of man. It is the power of God for salvation. The Greek word for power in its original text Text. Glory to God means dunamis. Well, glory to God. I believe today that God is giving us a glory to God dunamis power. I know what the scientists say. I know what the news leaders say. I know what people say. But God is giving us dunamis. Glory to God. He's given us dunamis power. He's given us dunamis power. He's given us dunamis power. I'm so glad of this dunamis power. This is not just for man. Glory Glory to God, but he's given us dunamis power, dunamis power to heal, dunamis power to for breakthrough, dunamis power to be excited, dunamis power to excel, dunamis power. Glory to God, it's the power of God. I want you to understand today that God has given us dunamis power. The gospel is not a weak power. It is the power of God. It's demonstrated in our lives. Every day of our lives, yes. it's demonstrated. It's that dynamite power. It's the power, glory to God, that heals. Uh, it's the power of God that set yes. free. Yes. It's the power of God that delivers. It's the power of God that brings hope in a hopeless situation. Oh. It's the power of God that break down walls. It's the power of God that will build. It's the power of God that set free. Yes. I believe who the Son has set free. 
free. It's free indeed. I believe it's that dunamis power of salvation. The gospel is not weak. It requests that we fill in the and the remainder of the work. The gospel is not that Jesus died 99% and you need to do the remaining 1%. The gospel is not some modestly good news that Jesus is here just to help you out sometime, but God has given us power every day of our life, whether the gospel is the good news and that is the power of salvation. Yeah. I want you to understand it needs no help from man, but it is the announcement of what Christ Come accomplished on. Yeah. on the cross when he said it is finished. Come on, yeah, well. the power of God. Come on, accomplish what is set out to do for there is no power that can stand against God. There is nothing, nothing. that can go against God. There nothing. is nothing in anybody. Glory to God for it is the power and demonstration. It is the dunamis power. Yeah. It's the dynamite power. Dynamite. It excels. Come on. It, it exposes. Come on. It yeah. does what it's called to do. It is the word of God that brings hope in a hopeless yes. situation. Yes. It yes. is the word of God. Yes. It's the word of God that do what thus saith the Lord. Come Woo, on. Glory to God. Come on. I thank God for the power. power. I thank God for the demonstration. I thank God for hope. I thank God for love. I thank God for peace. I thank God for joy. I thank God for all that God is doing in this hour. Glory to God. Yes, we realize that the enemy may have come in like a flood, well, but God says, I'm raising up a standard. Oh. Yes, God is doing what he said. God is doing what he said. Yes. I'm so glad. Glory to God that God has come to set the captives free. Right. He's come to tear down, glory to God, those things, glory to God, that sometime in our mind that need a little help. Come on, somebody. Oh, yeah, I don't know yeah. about you, but as ever, I ever needed the Lord before, I sure do, we sure do need him now. Come on. For it is the power to everyone who believes. Paul continually saying the gospel is the power of God mm -hmm. for salvation. Yes. To everyone who believes the gospel is not the power of God, glory to God, just to be used sometime. Well, but for everyone who believes, it's the gift of belief. Yes. It's the gift of faith. Yes. It is given to the same people whom God elected and whom Christ died for the power of gospel of the gospel of salvation uh -huh. does it come does it become activated until you activate it it does not happen all of a sudden uh -huh. but there must be an activation uh -huh. listen faith comes by hearing, hearing and hearing by the word of god i say. want you to understand today it's for those that believe I need you to get this in your spirit. It's for those that believe. The question is, what have you received since you believe? Yeah. Oh, I need you to understand what the word of God is saying. It's for those that believe the word. How bad do you want it? Yeah, yeah. How bad do you receive? How bad will you believe? See, I believe the word. I don't believe that I can mix it up with my own ideology. I can't mix it with my own way of thinking. I can't mix it with my own biases, but I got to believe the yes, word of yes. God. Listen, I want you to understand that the word of God is what we got to have when we believe the word. Listen, I need you to hear this. It's believing and you shall receive. So the real question today is what have you 
believe, come on, since you receive. I got somebody to put that in the comment section. See, the problem is sometimes we believe, glory to God, because somebody else believed. But the real question is, what have you received since you believe? Listen, the Bible says that he will not leave us comfortless. Glory to God, it's what you believing is what you receiving, glory to God. The Bible tells us you shall have what whatsoever you say. So whatever I speak out of my mouth, according to the word of God, if it's lining up with the word of God, then I shall have what I say. Woo, glory to God. What a powerful word this morning. I'm talking to somebody that has seen death all around them. I'm talking to somebody that has seen sickness all around them. I'm talking to somebody that may have lost a job. Glory to God. I'm talking to somebody that glory to God that have been going through a storm. I'm talking to somebody, glory to God, that felt like that they wasn't going to make it. I'm talking to somebody that said, well, I don't understand why this thing has been here so long. Yeah. Why Corona won't just go away. Well, you got to receive, glory to God, the word of the Lord today. Yeah. The word of the Lord is life, and I give it to you more abundantly. I want you to understand today, glory to God, but salvation, glory to God, and what what you believe, glory to God, you shall receive. Salvation was already accomplished at the cross. Let me say that again. Salvation was already accomplished at the, at cross. the cross. And the same power, the power of God brings you faith through the Holy Spirit. Make no mistake in this passage. The power of God does not end when Paul speaks of everyone who believes. It is not your belief that turns the gospel into the power of God, but it is the gospel as the power of God, glory to God, that makes you believe. Let me say that again for those that will clap your hands and that will get in tune with the real gospel message of Jesus Christ. It is not, glory to God, your belief that turns the gospel into the power of God, but it is the gospel yes. as the power of God that makes you believe. What makes me believe is the gospel message. Oh, Glory to God. The power is eternally God's, not ours. What? He talking. I think I will. Glory to God. What makes me believe is my belief in God. Yeah. What makes me walk in obedience is my belief in God. What causes me, glory to God, to do what thus said the Lord, it's my belief in God. I'm talking to somebody that has seen all kind of reports, that have heard all kind of stuff. God is saying it's not, glory to God, it's not your belief that turns the gospel into the power of God, well, but it is the gospel as the power of God yes. that makes you believe. Come I on. need somebody to put that in the message. It's not your belief that turns the gospel into the power of God, but it is the gospel as the power of God that makes you believe. Yes, the yes. power is eternally God's, not ours. It is ultimately God's. And the glory earned from the salvation belonged to God and not man. I need you to hear this. When Paul says the gospel is the power of God for salvation, glory to God is to everyone who believes. I need you to go with me, Ephesians 16 and 20. And what does the Bible say? I'm almost done today, but somebody is getting a breakthrough. Somebody is receiving the word of God. It's not by power, not by might, but it's by the spirit, said the Lord. Oh, glory to God. When I allow the spirit of God to really do what it is designed to do, when I allow the spirit of God and I do not ignore the spirit of God, when the spirit nudges me, come on somebody, I get some breakthrough. When I allow the spirit of God, whoo, glory to God, it comes to break up every yoke. That's right, daughter. It comes to set the captives free. It's the spirit of God. Whoo, glory to God. Yeah. Somebody asking a question, how do you get that preacher? Well, go with me to Ephesians 6, and I want to read I know it's a little lengthy, but I need you to hear this. It says, finally, be strong in the Lord uh -huh. and in the strength of his power. 
Yes. Verse 11 says, put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Number 12 says, for our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, uh -huh. but against the ruler, against, glory to God, authorities, against, glory to God, the cosmic power. Yes. Look at that, against the cosmic power. I need you to receive that, against the cosmic power. Uh -huh. See, I'm digging deeper. Come on, some of you want to go deep today, but let's go deep. Let's not stay on the surface this morning. Uh -huh. It's the cosmic power of this present darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor oh, of God yes. so that you may be able to stand. Glory to God, that you may be able to withstand on the evil day. Yes, Beloved, this is uh, glory to God uh, uh, could be considered by many an evil day. Yeah. But I'm here to let you know that you have the power. You have the power to tread over serpents and scorpions. You have the power to excel. You have the power for breakthrough. Yeah. You have the power to have the word and to speak the word into existence. I want you to understand it says against spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. Verse 13 Therefore, take up the whole armor of God yes. so that you may be able to withstand on the evil day. Yes. And having done everything to stand firm, that's the word of the Lord. Stand therefore and fasten the belt of truth around your waist yes. and put on the breastplate of righteousness. All right. Number 15 says, as show as shoes for your feet, put on whatever you make. Oh my God, you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. Uh -huh. The gospel is a peace. Oh, glory to God. The gospel brings peace. Oh my yes, The yes. gospel helps us when all kind of chaos is around us. It's yes. the gospel message. Gospel. It's the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God. I'm preaching. I'm speaking. Oh, verse number 16. With all of these, take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench the fiery arrows of the evil one, take the helmet of salvation and the shield of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the spirit uh -huh. at all times yes. in every prayer and supplication. Uh -huh. To that end, keep alert and always preserve, amen, glory to God, in supplication for all the saints uh -huh. oh, on, God. On, pray also for me so that when i speak a message may be given to to me to make known with boldness oh look at this the mysteries of the gospel uh -huh. and which i am an ambassador in chains pray that i may declare it boldly as i must speak Ephesians uh, tell us to stand up for Jesus stand Christ. Up. Ephesians tell us to stand on the word of God. Uh -huh. Have you ever encountered an opposition that just seemed bigger than the stuff in this world, bigger than your than flesh, bigger than bone, bigger than anything human can decide the the the, the devise up. Uh -huh. Amen. Have you ever encountered evil on every turn? Just like in this pandemic, beloved, so that you fall or you you felt trapped, boxed in, amen, not just by one person or by one situation, but seemingly in everything. Uh -huh. Glory to God. And no, I'm not talking about, glory to God, paranoia. Amen. I'm talking about you, thinking you, your, amen, encountered opposition at every truth, at every turn. Amen. About amen, interpreting every little thing as a negative and against you. When it amen, when it may or may not have anything to do with you. I'm talking about you encountering real opposition. Uh -huh. Today, beloved, some of us are really encountering real opposition. opposition. Don't you ever take it for granted, beloved? Glory to God, that real opposition is not going to come. I'm not talking about people right now, uh -huh. but I'm talking about spirits. 
I'm talking about things in high places. I'm talking about things, glory to God, hallelujah, that would try to succumb us. But Paul, let it be known. Well, he says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. No, no, no. Glory to God, I need you to understand, I'm talking about you encountering real opposition, real roadblocks as you seek to move forward in some endeavor. I remember an experience at the uh, glory to God that we may, uh, just a short story. I remember an experience, glory to God. I mean, I served, glory to God, as the student, student pastor. Things were going along fine. And at least uh, they seemed to be until all of a sudden it felt like things were falling apart at every time. Our Congress, amen, our administration, our American administration have seemed like it is falling apart. But I'm here to give you encouraging word. I'm here to let you know, trust God. Lean not to your own understanding. Come on. But in all thy ways, acknowledge him. I want you to know that God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. Come on. We already got thank God for the FDA. Thank God for, glory to God, the vassal. Amen. Glory to God. But thank God for Jesus Christ. Paul was a person who knew a thing or two about rulers and authorities and cosmic powers. Glory to God. In this present darkness, the spiritual forces of evil in the cosmic realm. See, some of us may not understand this, but there are things that are happening in the cosmic realm yes. that you don't have anything to do with. There are things that are happening in the cosmic realm that you, glory to God, didn't put in motion. There are things that are happening in the cosmic realm that you didn't deal with and you didn't do nothing, glory to God, to have it yeah. to happen, yeah. to happen. But in the cosmic realm, there are things that are happening and we must understand this is not a natural thing, but it's all spiritual. In the cosmic realm, there are things that are working against you and God knows, glory to God, that the enemy has put some things in motion. But I'm here to encourage you, beloved, to run well and don't let nothing bewitch you. Don't let nothing come against you. I want you to know today that Paul, a man, glory to God, seemed to to have been glory to God on the prowl. He had been glory to God, a man of spiritual, a man glory to God, forces of evil. He glory to God, they had waged war against the, the followers of Jesus, a war against love, a war against peace, a war against hope. Yeah. Listen, you need to know, beloved, that it is not glory to God, just this pandemic that has caused you to have war. It's in the cosmic world yeah. where things are happening. Glory to God, but we believe God today that even in the cosmic world yeah. that God is restoring order, yeah. even in the cosmic world, that God is doing what he said. He's not a man that he should lie. Neither he the son of man that he should repent. If God said it, it shall come to pass. I want you to know, glory to God, and then after Paul encountered the resin Christ and started champion, glory to God, the cause, glory to God of God, he seemed to have become the enemy, glory to God, of those forces just about everywhere he went. Uh -huh. And the circumstances around Paul's persecution was usually pretty crazy. The kind of stuff that, glory to God, wrecks the cosmic power of evil. I've already recounted one incident doing, glory to God, a sermon series. Amen. An incident in which there was, glory to an uprising against Paul that resulted simply from Paul helping people. Sometime in the cosmic world, that things that will come just because you are helping people. It says by helping, I mean Paul healed people of illnesses and exercised demons, glory to God, from them. And in Acts 19, where the story is, 
told everyone in the story seemed to have agreed that Paul was helping people. It's not like there was a disagreement on that point, yet there was some kind of opposition to people being helped, being healed. Glory to God, the bizarre explanation that people being helped, glory to God, and glory to God was bad for some other people business, so bad that those business owners, amen, led, glory to God, an uprise to ensure Paul doesn't help any more people. Mm. To put this in modern context, wow. it would be like someone in our congregation suddenly realizing that they were to God had a peculiar kind of healing gift and started using their gift so that glory to God, everyone in the congregation and even all of the, the yes. grand juncture yes. was cured of whatever ailment, amen, them and never got sick again. But then unexpectedly, well, unexplainedly, uh -huh. all the people were relying on a bunch of folk being sick. Mm -hmm. You know the people who work in the medical profession, the people who work in the insurance industry, the people who work for the, uh, glory to God, the, 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 the pharmaceutical, amen, and drug company, the people who work in the, glory to God, greeting card profession, in which get well cards are sold, even the stores that sell cards and equipment to the sick people, it would be like all these people are going to have a vested interest in people being sick and so profit from people being sick. My Lord. Decide to revolt and say that, that a person of faith has no business healing people because healing people are bad for their business. Wow. In other words, many of you should suffer because of suffering is good for them. And so they revolt and impose glory to God, the healer, and make sure you continue to suffer. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Paul knew a thing or two about the cosmic warfare going on. Many people don't talk about the cosmic area. We only just talk about the earthly realm and the spiritual realm. But there is something between the two that you must be able to really understand that there's the things that also happen in the cosmic world yeah, and right. you may look at it naturally you may try to explain it in the natural sense but when you understand that there's more than just the earthly realm and the heavenly realm but there's a cosmic realm that is being worked and paul understood that there was yes. some things working in the yes. cosmic yes. world yes. but because he was not ashamed of the yes. gospel of yes. jesus yes. christ yes. Yes. because he was not ashamed yeah. of any cosmic, yeah. any heavenly, any earthly realm. He stood on the word of God. Yeah. Listen, I would imagine this language is difficult and challenging for some. It's not downright crazy sounding for some of you. If that's the case for you, I, I get it. I, I, I myself I may have encountered people, glory to God, who place what I consider far too much emphasis on, Lord we got this kind of thing so much emphasis on evil spirits and forces that does not sound far-fetched i get it i get that in our modern glory to god rational way of thinking uh in which glory to god everything must have glory to god a triangle cause a pacific a man provable of you might even say observational amen cause there's little room for the possibility of evolving from unseen spiritual realm. Woo! Glory to God. Yet that some people may feel that talk of evil spiritual forces, glory to God, gives raise to some people and then blaming things on evil forces in the spiritual realm instead of taking responsibility for their action. I understand Come on. the spiritual realm more than some may may believe there is a spiritual realm and we must be able to account for it. what am i saying today if you are tending glory to god to lean glory to god toward amen either of uh, these ways of thinking let me try uh for a moment to suggest that god is teaching through paul in this text and it can still have meaning for you 
for those of you who don't believe uh, at all in evil spirits. Uh, I like you to know that there is quite a bit of de deliberation about exactly what Paul meant uh -huh. with his language about the enemies that are, are not of blood and flesh. On. One explanation that often helps me has to do with something like Glory to God mentioning spirit several times already. The Ephesians were recently converted Christians, having been converted from religious systems well, and including, glory to God, hallelujah, pantheons of, amen, glory to God, uh, deities. Paul may have been a, appealing to something that already, glory to God, believed about the yes. universe, glory to God, in order to make his point, rather than teaching them something new which would not have been an unusual thing for Paul or in any New Testament, glory to God, author to do. We know that every book in the New Testament is tailored to the Pacific audience of existence belief system. That one of the reasons, glory to God, that there are four gospels in study one. Glory to God, for those, glory to God, of you who believe talk of evil spirits, that influence, glory to God, earthly thoughts and uh, actions unnecessary, minimizing individual human responsibilities. Please consider the, the bigger picture. Paul points in the passage, which I provided, amen, glory to God, in a minute, has everything to do with personal responsibility, everything to do with taking advantage of an option that God makes available to each person so that people really do have full responsibility. Uh -huh. I moved into Paul's point to help you better understand. Paul knew the Ephesian church would face some pretty troubling stuff, some pretty yes. Yes. wicked stuff, uh -huh. just like we're in today. I'm getting ready to close. Uh -huh. Just like we are at today. Many say, well, I've not experienced as much as others, and maybe some have not experienced as much as other folk, but we are in some dark days, uh -huh. and you must understand that in this dark days, you must be able to stand on the Lord Jesus Christ. Ooh, you got to be able to stand on his word more than ever, uh -huh. not just for religious sake, but in the cosmic area. The word of God still works. Well, Colonel, glory Colonel, to God. Colonel. Even yeah. glory to God in the cosmic area, the word of God still bring hope. Uh -huh. Even in the cosmic area, the word of God still bring life. Even in the cosmic area, the word of God still has power. That's why we talked about dunamis power. We talked yeah, about yeah, yeah. word of God Glory to God, the healing power. Come We're on. talking about, Lord of God, the love factor. Yeah, back in Paul's time, not, Lord of God, Gentile following of Jesus might be of an opinion that followers of the one true God should be, Lord of God, invincible. Remember, they came from religious systems in which the gods they worship provided protection and strength to their followers. And so the biggest God in the universe should provide the most protection. Some people may easily fail rather quickly uh, in their faith when they encounter trouble, when they encounter tribulation, when they encounter, Lord of God, uh, evil. Amen. Thinking this new God can't possibly be the most powerful God Glory to God, this God followers can be persecuted. You're going to be persecuted. Uh -huh. You're going to be talked about. You, there are some things in the cosmic area that's going to cause you to feel like, glory to God, that you, glory to God, that it's all hell is at you. But I want you to know today that even in the cosmic area, that God still got your back. Somebody uh -huh. need to put that in the message. Come on, in your message. God still is a God that's able to do uh, exceedingly abundantly uh, all that you can ask, 
think or imagine. I feel my help this morning. I'm so glad that I'm back to tell you what thus said the Lord. Yes, God is a wheel in the middle of a wheel. He's hope when all hope fails. He is life when it seems like giving up. I'm so glad we serve a God that sits high and looks low. I'm so glad that God is with me. Why? Because he walks with me. He talks with me. See, I didn't want to just give you a surface message. I needed you to understand. Glory to God like Paul. He needed to tell those new converts glory to God that difficult times is going to come. That difficult times yes. are going to be here. But if your hope is in the Lord, if your hope is in God, if your hope and trusting in his word, God will never leave you nor forsake you. I've said again as I said it before I never, I said never, I never, I never seen the righteous yes, forsaken yes. or his seed begging bread. For I'm not ashamed, just like Paul said, I'm not ashamed yes. of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed yes. of his suffering. I'm not ashamed yes. of his resurrection. I'm not ashamed Hello. of the word of God. I'm not ashamed Nothing. of the gospel of Jesus Christ yes. for his power is power is power is dunamis power is dynamite power yes. it's the word of God that makes the difference yes. Yes. in your life. I want you to know I pray that you get this message today. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm. And neither should you be ashamed. Glory to God when the hellhounds are on your track. Uh -huh. When the cosmic areas, glory to God, are doing something contrary to what you believe. Well. You got to know that God is with you. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, sir. And I want you to know today, my beloved, trust in the Lord. With all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding. Somebody share this message. But in all thy ways, acknowledge him. Uh -huh. Paul had a message like never before. See, I don't just like to do those glory to God surface preaching because somebody is going through a storm right now. Mm -hmm. Somebody is wondering what is up and what's going on right now. Listen, don't you ever think that it's always something you may have done. Glory to God. But that sometimes it's things. Glory to God that you may have not done. It's happening in the cosmic area, in the spiritual realm. Glory to God. And may it not always, glory to God, is working with you. But I believe that God is working for your good. Mm -hmm. Listen, he said, glory to God, that he's working for your good. If it's nightmares, if it's depression, glory to God. If it's illnesses, glory to God, whatever you may be going through today, beloved, trust God. Depend on his word. God knows, glory to God, and he showed enough cares. Listen, God is a God of peace. He's a God of love, and he's a God of forgiveness. Come on. And he forgave us. <laughs> glory to God. He said that I'll throw your sins in the sea of forgiveness. I, I want to encourage somebody today. I pray you give me some hearts and some thumbs up if you're receiving this word right now. I'm telling you not to be ashamed. God got your back. God is a mighty deliverer. God is a keeper. If you want to be kept. Huh? He will keep you in perfect peace. You keep your mind yes. stayed on him. Uh -huh. I'm getting ready to close today. If you desire prayer today, I want you to know that we're praying for you. Glory to God. I want you to trust God like never before. Listen, there's things that God will take you through because he loves you. Sometimes he needs to know in Jesus' name, that you're with him. Make a declaration today. I declare the word of the Lord. 
and nothing else uh -huh. shall stand in my way. I declare that the race is not given to the swift uh -huh. or neither to the strong, but those that will endure unto the end. Endure. Stay on the course. Yes. Stay on course. <laughs> I'm talking to somebody. Stay on course. If you will. If you desire prayer right now. We have a prayer now. Call number. And that number is 910-324-4887. If you desire prayer. We got individuals standing by to pray for you. There are some things that are happening in the cosmic realm. We must understand that this is not a natural thing. There are some things that are taking place. Uh -huh. And yes, maybe you didn't do anything to cause it. Maybe it got lined up a long time ago, but that's all right. I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it's the power of salvation. Uh -huh. Come on. Stay on course. That's it. Come on. Come on up. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. If you're here right now and you desire prayer, if you desire prayer, come, come. I want to pray with you. I'm touching in agreement. Yes, God has brought us back. We don't take any credit for it tonight, today, in Jesus' name. Come on. This prayer now called now number is 910 324 4887. In times of storm, I'm talking to you. Yes, you. Those that are facing trouble, you're facing tribulation after tribulation. Every time I call it, if you're facing a difficult time right now, I'm touching and agreeing with you. Yes, you. Yes, you. In Jesus' name. As we minister the gospel right now, receive the word of the Lord. That's healing for your body. Maybe you've gotten one of the worst diagnoses that you can get. Know that God is still God, for I'm not ashamed. In Jesus' name, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, we do a prayer call every day. Amen. Uh, that prayer number, amen, is 605-313-6040. And that code is 2944, amen, 71. Amen, pound. Amen. Glory to God. I pray that you would call that. And that number, again, is 605-313-6040. And that code is 294471-POWER. Yes. I'm praying for you today. Re receive the word of the Lord. Receive your healing right now. In Jesus' name. Sunday at 7 p.m. Monday at 12 p.m. Glory to God. Monday at 7 p.m. Tuesday at 4 p.m., yes. Wednesday at 12 p.m., and glory to God, Thursday at 7 p.m., Friday at 12 p.m., and 7 p.m. Listen, the power of God is there for you. And then Saturday at 7 p.m. If you're standing in a need of prayer, you can call that number, and there are prayer individuals standing in, amen, on your behalf, praying with you in Jesus' name, standing with you. I pray for you right now. Glory to God. Let me give that number one more time, princess. Amen. Glory to God. That number is 910. Glory to God. 910. Amen. 324-4887. That number not going through? Amen. Give mine. 910. Amen. What was it? 60. What's yours? 646-957. If you want prayer, princess, call that number. Let me say it again. I don't want to put that up. I'm just going to give that to you. You call that number. 640-646-957-7935. Princess, if you desire prayer, listen, I want to make sure you get prayed for. I'm touching and agreeing with you. I'm believing the word of God over your life. I believe by faith that God is going to do what he said. There's an anointing for healing right now. Glory to God. If you didn't get it, princess, let me know. I'll repeat it again for you. Amen. We can message you today and give it to you because I want you to get through today. In Jesus' name. Listen, come on. That's it. Give me more volume in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I trust you, God. 
I trust you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I trust you, God. Somebody give him praise. Come on, I receive this word today. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I trust you. I'll trust you. Oh, God, thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Yeah, God. Lord, I bless your name, God. I, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Yeah, God. We're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are the Lord God of all shit. Yeah, God. I thank you, God, for deliverance today. I thank you, God, for deliverance. Oh, God. We'll trust you today. Somebody need to just put in the comment section that I'll trust you today. I'll trust you today. Don't you come on, do it because you believe it. Don't just do it because you're told. I trust you, God. I trust you, God. Will you trust him? I will not be afraid of the arrow by day, nor by the arrow by night. Don't be afraid today. Listen, I know I'm telling you that. And this has been some dark days. There's some things that are happening in the cosmic area. But know that God got your back. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you desire to give, you can give today through our cash app. That's the dollar sign, T-L-I-F-M, so into ministry. Amen. If you like to give, it's through the cash app. You can do that by, glory to God, going to the cash app, T-L-I-F-M. Amen. On the PayPal, on our website, that is truelifeifm.com. Glory to God on the more tab. And you can use your debit card over the phone in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Sister Princess, I see uh, glory to God. Have she gotten through? Have you messaged her? Amen. Listen, I'm gonna give you that number one more time. That number again is 646 957 79. Three, five. Listen, I want to get through. I want you to get through today. Thank you for stepping out on faith. We're touching and agreeing with you in Jesus name. Thank God for all of you that have been on this broadcast. We love you. Thank God that we're back in Jesus name. God is yes. getting ready to do some amazing things. I'm grateful for the anointing. Thank God for my wife standing in. Glory to God in Jesus name. Amen. I believe Pastor McClammy. Amen. Our resident pastor. Thank all of them for stepping up. Thank God for our conference. I want you all to know we appreciate each and every one of you for being with us. Listen, I thank you for exponential growth, God. Listen, there are some things that's getting ready to happen in your life because of your faith is being lifted in Jesus' name. Now, I pray for you, each and every one of you that are on this uh, broadcast. Thank you for getting in the, 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 the digits today. Thank you for being on the broadcast. Yes. We pray many blessings on your life. Don't forget, amen, on Tuesday, we have our women's discussion. Amen. Glory to God. Stay tuned to the Facebook post. And then on Wednesday at 730, we'll be back with you. I, I have an amazing, amen, uh, glory to God, uh, amen, uh, Wednesday that's going to be coming up. I'm grateful for that in Jesus' name. And then on Thursday, listen, I'm telling you, I'm seeing exponential growth. Amen. I'm seeing, amen, these sons and daughters, amen, getting out. Listen, that's kingdom. That's kingdom, beloved. That's kingdom. Most folk are glory to God, minimize that, but that's what kingdom is. It's about growing up, glory to God, those that will mimic, amen, those that will do, amen. And I'm grateful for that. I want you to know that I bless God. Listen, I'm praying for my nephew today, amen. I know that you're watching the broadcast, son. We love you right now, even in that hospital room. Amen. Know that we're praying. Father, in Jesus' name, we're praying right now for Xavier Hawkins. Lord, you know what he's going through. You know what's happening right now. We're believing God that every ailment, every situation, Lord, will dry up in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Lord God, that he has, glory to God, a glorious assignment on his life. And I thank you for Xavier Hawkins. Lord, you know the situation. You know the circumstances. Son, be not dismayed. Whatever be tied. Whatever God will see you through. Amen. Be comfort 
and know that God will see you even in this troubled time, that God will see you through in Jesus' name. We love you with the love of the Lord. All of you that are on, bless you for staying with us. Until next time, I'm going to ask Lady Hawkins to give her closing comments, and we're going to go. Amen. Just thank God for Apostle Hawkins being back. Thank God for each and every one of you joining us on today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Till we meet again. God bless. God bless you. We're not ashamed. That's it. Say that again. <laughs> Just let that play out. Those that are giving, come on. You can do that right now. You can do that right now. Yes, God. Woo. What we have in the last life. Oh, we are not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. We are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Woo! Woo! What we have ever lasting Oh God, I love this. Come on. We are not ashamed. Ready to go. God bless you. God bless you today. God bless your heart today. Thank you for being with us. Share the broadcast. If you don't mind, share the broadcast. Let's get those numbers up. In Jesus' name, God bless your heart. In Jesus' name, we pray. And oh, God bless you. God bless your heart. Hallelujah.